So in this video, we're going to talk about the so-called common process conversion module. And the reason why that module is needed sometimes is that uh, our separator temperatures and pressures, they're changing many times considerably with time. Um, and I think this well is a good example where um, you see the initial pressure is around, uh, on, uh, the initial separator pressure is around 600 PSIA before it drops down, typically following the same or similar shapes as uh, your flowing bottom wall pressure while the separate temperature actually tends to change with the season, as we see very clearly here on this picture. Um, these separated changes has an, a, uh, a considerable sometimes impact on producing GORs, especially for lean uh, for leaner systems. So when you start to get into more near critical fluid systems or gas condensates or, or, or leaning gas condensates or even wet gases, these changes can actually have a profound impact on your producing GUR. So to normalize out that noise we, uh, uh, from the changing separated uh, conditions, we, we um, sometimes would like to, to ask ourselves, what would these rates be if, um, if uh, we process them through a fixed set of separator pressures and temperatures? And the reason why that is an interesting question to ask is, of course, that the, the resulting fluids, so our G, uh, GORs, our stock tank oil, rates and, and sales gas rates, they are dependent on the process, they're path dependent properties. Um, and that's what this module is all about. So it uh, takes all the producing well streams any given day and then it uh, processes it uh, through a fixed set of uh, uh, separated conditions. And then it compares both the, the new separated GUR and also the new stock tank GUR with, these, uh, with this uh, new fixed process. Uh, so just to give an example of that, we can you know zoom in a little bit on this part of the data set, and we can see that for some of the days here, the measured uh, the measured GURs are around 5,600, while the actual uh, ones after being reprocessed through the uh, the common process is is 5,900. And uh, when you have these type of systematic uh, differences over a long period of time, that actually adds up to some significant difference between the common process rates and the rates that you uh, are observing. Um, and also these common process rates is really what you should be using for your uh, numerical rate transient analysis, your history matching exercises, uh, bottom wall pressure calculations, etc. because those are the only rates that are 100% consistent with your PVT properties. So your black world tables, they're generated with also an assumption of surface process. So for uh, for cases where you're measuring separated rates and you see that they are uh, changing considerably with time, this uh, module right here is key and it's actually run automatically in Woodson Plus if you are inputting uh, uh, separated rates and then you can use those consistently into decline curve analysis, bottom wall pressure, uh, numerical RTA, history matching, etc. Uh,